Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Dondro campaign. This is episode 31. We pick it up from turn 115 in the summer season of 213. So this might very well be our last battle, uh, last episode, uh, not last battle, many battles till we finish, but last episode. Uh, we are basically pressing all our central plane army at the Yangtze River. The capital's not so far away. They pulled their army out uh, in anticipating uh, our attacks, uh, but they launched their leader over here. Uh, he's encamped, which is interesting because he encamped in the perfect position for us to attack him while receiving reinforcement from the small city. So I don't know what our dad is thinking. Uh, we obviously now call Lu Bu our father because we adopted her, but that's our birth father right there. Uh, so we're just going to kick things off uh, this episode by launching a serious attack against uh, Wu's positions in the south. I'm questioning whether or not I should attack the trade port because I feel like we can sail faster and just attack the iron mine in another turn. Because we, even if we get this and uh, recruit new armies here, we will still need to traverse through here which is quite difficult. So maybe we just land over here and start our attack on uh, Puyao next turn. Maybe we can even do something like this. Yeah, they don't have enough armies around their capital. Uh, they sent way too many out and there's a bunch in the south. And they even have some abandoned territory that they never claimed. So it's kind of thinly defended here. They have a huge army in the Imperial City of Changsha, who we're going to ignore. Even though Huang Gai and Zhang Fei are both here. But no reason to go fight that. Uh, we'll end our epi uh, turn fighting this battle here. Save the good show for the end. Huang Zhu has come to suicide on the city. He didn't attack it, but he can't beat the small city garrison. Well, he might be able to, but he will have to siege for a couple turns. I want to cross, but I'm also kind of worried about getting swarmed by three armies. Mm, it's okay. Let's hurry things up. We should be fine. This um, burned officer battle. I think we can actually just... Oh, oh, that's why they haven't attacked us. We, He's a vassal of Yuan Shao and we declared peace, so he's out of this. Mm, we can't get them into uh, the same county as them, so the best thing to do is actually to recall them. And we're going to summon them in the south along with all the armies we recalled at the end of last episode. Uh, this is a fight here. Let's see, this army is just stationary reserve force in the north in case anything bad happens. We can actually position them a little bit closer to here because if anything bad happens we'll lose the iron mine right away. And then we gotta guard this gap right here. Korong's army is still sailing up. Uh, we're gonna just maybe even enter the water to chill after them. This army definitely have stronger delegate value than both of them, so we're not worried about fighting them in the water. Alright, they're just waiting for rebels. Alright, down south, we're going to grab this right away. This will just crushing defeat, because uh, they have spear units. Um, this is a port, so we're just going to starve them out. This is one issue with the uh, cavalry army. If, if the AI army has any spear units, they don't think you can win. And we can't make it there, but this army is annoying. They're just going after our territory. Alright, they don't have any siege weapons, so we're just going to go chase them down. Uh, we got to give them a new... Okay, they're on the right target. I was worried that they'll go after the trade port instead of the army. Because we want the trade port back. Alright, so we can't do much in the south. That's the fight we're saving. They're sieging. So everyone's moved. We just need to summon new armies here. Where should we summon? I think there's a huge Wu army here. 
So we should probably summon the army here to end response. Uh, let's see. Who doesn't need recruitment? I think everyone needs a little bit of recruitment. Of all, all, oh, actually, the cavalry army doesn't. It's her plus two cavalry army. Where's the cavalry officers? There, there's Shi Hui is one. And the other one is Ziling. Okay, so it's Ziling's army. With Shi Hui. And our siege weapons. Okay. They will replenish here. And then once they're ready, they will head this way. Uh, I think there's a Wu army over here. And then if we do need to recruit new units, the best place to do so is here. So we're actually going to pop out a huge army here. We're going to night battle it, so we're not going to worry about them reinforcing. This is Jashu's army. Uh, Jashu is with... I think it's him. He's missing two units. Should be him. And Xiao Jie. And he's leading it because he has reach. Right. So let's pop them in here. Heavy cataphracts. There we go. Alright, so that army will start going into the river, crossing over next turn. Liu Bu's army has already made it. Uh, we could also summon some more people if we have seasonal deployment. Yep, we do. We still have four more slots. We're going to pop out our burned officers. Alright, there's one. And then we're going to see who she gets along with. I think they're all pretty good friends at this point. Although she's 64, so she might be leaving us soon. Alright, she's 62. This is the old lady burnt officer corp. And I think we can still summon more, but I think we just recalled two, so I don't think we have any more. These two need one more turn of cooldown. Yeah, this is a burnt. A bright, not burnt. He's on assignment. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, so Sun Jian's army have no chance now. Now their ammo has been depleted. Largely depleted. Do they have a burned officer? Their ammo is actually relatively healthy. This one has seven left. Anyways. We can get this fight started now. Oh, he's running. Well, you're not going to get very far. Uh, we don't need any of the reinforcement. I'd rather have night battle here. Let them replenish. 0% chance of catching dad. That's a little unfortunate. Yeah, I think we got this. Let's jump in here. Alrighty. We're loaded up in here. Uh, kind of on a slope map here. Hmm. I think I'll just take this clearing right here. And then we'll put our towers over there. Because uh, AIs are pretty much uh, oblivious to deployables. So we can keep our towers in a safe spot where they can continuously fire. Cavalry. Um like to have them hidden in the beginning. Surin can be up front. She can snipe people with Heartseeker. Yeah, I just like to put towers on the side where no one's going to bother them and they can just keep outputting damage. Uh, we're going to protect ourselves from cavalry charges through the forest by surprising the horses there. And if they come this way, we'll put some here. We'll put a fire patch here, fire patch here. Alright, we're good to go. Let's give her a shortcut too. Now the thing about Heartseeker is you need the enemy to be uh, not moving. 
Cause, or else you're gonna miss. And then if we get lucky, like last few episodes where we got one hit, two kills, that would be pretty amazing. Oh uh, no, we're gonna decline these. We're gonna use our abilities first. And even if we're dueling, we want to duel Dad. Dad is shooting at us with our own bow, Dad. Well, too bad he doesn't have enough ammo because we have burned officers. But we want our bow back. How could you, Father, take our bow? Alright, the arrow towers are shooting. Ooh, should be safe range. Poor guys. They have a lot of cavalry. I underestimated them. Okay, so what we're gonna do instead, instead of getting swarmed by cavalry, is lead their cavalry to our spikes. Hmm. We might not be able to snipe anyone right from this range. They're not really stationary. They're quite happy to charge at us. Look at that, charging right at us. We have a legendary horse and they're outrunning us? No way. 65 speed? 56? No, how? Oh, this horse is slow. 53. This is not one of the legendary horses, just a gold horse. You need the unique name. So like Red Elite, White Elite, and um, Brown Elite, all those are not really legendary horses. Di Lu, Shadowrunner, those are the legendary horses. Alright, I gotta get ourselves to safety first. No, 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 no. You made the mistake. Alright, we're gonna hide here to see if any cavalry wants to run at us. Mercenary archers, that's fine. They can fire. Let's get them. Let's see if we can work out a snipe. Alright, Dad's coming right at us. Straight line, pretty much. Hello, Father. There we go. I know you have lots of armor. Run into the spikes, Dad. Too bad you can't get dismounted. Generals can't get dismounted from the spikes. Alright, cooldown's ready. Alright, we need to light the fire, honestly. Charge. Light the fire. Light the fire. Um, let's pull them back. I don't want to be in this messy fight. There we go. Archers are out of shots. Well, while you guys are pulling back, why don't you charge at this unit right here? Hello, father. Take another arrow. Stop moving, stop moving, stop moving, we might miss. There we go. 15 second cooldown, we'll shoot him again. We'll save all three shots for him. Alright, cavalry, pull back. You guys don't have cow traps? Wait. These units don't have cow traps. I just realized that. Alright, Dad. Let's see if we get another shot at you. Kind of behind the trees here. Through the fire. Ah, uh, we missed that one. We'll go fight him. Actually, we can just use our bow. Yeah, I'm largely ignoring what's happening behind us. Fine, Dad. He's unbreakable. Which means he'll fight to- Oh, let's not step in the fire. Ooh. Father, you know we have the same move, right? We did it. We killed Dad. Alright, let's mind what's going on here. Let's actually charge out these three into these. 
these three into these. Actually, they routed. They all routed. Uh, we're gonna chase them down, actually. Oh. Um, I'm gonna pull her out of this cow trap area. Recapture the tower. Oh, there's a general here. Oops. Yeah, we really weren't focused on that. Alright, he's routing. He is unbreakable, so we have to kill him. Why don't you just go chase after him? Alright, I think we won. Uh, this is their second escape. They ran and then we caught them, so they're going to be wiped. So we just end this. Alrighty. Let's see. We didn't get our bow back. We didn't capture dad. We caught him. We're just going to release him. We'll take income. I think we'll replenish up just fine. We're going to head towards that crossing over there. We're just going to get into the river and sail down. Uh, this army will follow next turn. They will wait a couple turns and follow us as well. I think that's everything. We just got to do the buildings. And then we can continue. There's one open assignment slot too. All right. Tyrant, just more income, I guess. There's not much to do here. We should also upgrade this to small regional city. And then get the level 5 level. Yeah, let's do that first. That's all our gold. Right. Okay. That's fine. Save us a little time. Um, I think that covers everything. Yeah, let's go next turn. Oh, assignments. Uh, let's see. What's going on here? We're defending against... Oh. This is our this is our siege, right, right, right. Because we were starving them out because they had too many spear units, and they don't want to be starved out, so they came out to fight us. All right, perfect, easy battle to finish. I'm just gonna cut this out. We're just gonna flank them and then rear charge them, so not so hard. Alrighty, not so hard. Let's get some income. All right, Lu Bu's son has come of age. Another armor, not gold, discourse of the state. Wish we had more court positions. Seems like Huang Gai has marched his army over. Maybe he'll come face us over here. Uh, we'll see. By that time, this army will be ready to respond. In the meantime, we're gonna go on march. Get into the water here. They'll try to capture the iron mine for us. They can't reach. Oh, that's not good. Getting this beachhead is important. I'm going to sail to find our adopted father. Oh, actually. Let's stop here for a second in case they attack. Actually, they're not really a threat. What can they do? Uh, but there's no garrison here. I think it's still recovering. Oh no, it's fully ready. Okay, then. Never mind. Keep sailing. We can land here. And we can get the shortcut to the capital. Lupul can get us our first beachhead. So we can actually start summoning units. All right, not going to be an easy fight. They have tribuches, they have towers, they have a lot of units. Um, but we should be able to do this. We just got to work around the tribuches a little bit. Uh, we can maybe sacrifice one cavalry unit to do that. 
definitely do night battle. Uh, we'll show this because I think this is quite difficult. And also, this might be the last major battle before we get to the capital. So this campaign is going to end soon. So let's jump in here. Alrighty, we're loaded up in here. Um, they're not going to charge out because they have a lot of force inside. They do have lots of arrow towers. There's four in the front, two on each side. Technically, attacking from the side would be better because we don't have to destroy as many towers. But the issue would be... Yeah, this would play... Mm, yeah, no issues. We just have to come through this side. Like the hill, uh, in case we have to exchange fire with their trebuchets, the elevation is going to help us. I don't like that tree, though. It's kind of blocking us a little bit. We could stack like this. Might be a little bit more efficient. Uh, we're going to turn off auto fire. Yeah, elevation does mess with your range. So even if the range indicator indicates this far, if the elevation is higher where you're shooting at, you actually shoot much shorter. So even if they put their trebuchet here, they can't hit us. And we can hit them. These are the new units we have. Uh, these uh, Imperial Palace crossbowmen. Um, I think they're quite strong. Um, possibly stronger than onyx dragons uh, have to take a more detailed look but definitely higher armor piercing damage is very very good the attack rate's a little slow but it could also be because of this army isn't really set up to maximize attack rate as well so not entirely their fault we might need to kite out their trebuchet shots so we might put one guy here for that purpose. Uh, we're still going to use deployables, might as well, in case they charge out for whatever reason. Highly unlikely, but just in case. Alright, where's their trebuchet? There's one here, there's one here. Alright, can I get it to shoot at me? That's the number one question. Yes, I can. Good. Okay, preferably don't kill too many of our units. Uh, got a kite. Okay. The other one's gonna not fire at me for a while. So this will be... First 10 shot, let it fire. Zigzag. All right, we lost two units so far. Go straight. They fire and stop. Go straight. They adjust really fast. All right, there we go. See, their th fourth shot is always delayed, and it's always catching us when we change directions. There we go. Keep going. It's hard to hit a moving target. Especially one that zigzags. That fourth delay shot's really dangerous for us. Alright, they're almost done. Now I can't get the other one to shoot at us, but that's fine. There we go. Alright, we're going to shift this guy all the way back to our main formation so they can adjust their defenses. The thicker we have, the, well, I mean the denser the units are here, the better our trebuchet shots will be. So we can wait for that. Um, I feel like we're not going to be exchanging shots with their trebuchet, so we can actually move up quite a bit uh, to this point here for better accuracy. So we're going to do that while our cavalry unit comes back to us. And we can move our units a little bit farther ahead. It'd be funny if they charge out as we move up. That's what I'm always worried about. That's like the best AI move. As the enemy's moving their siege weapon closer, they charge out. Catches you off guard. Yeah, this little pocket here, the more units we can convince them to pack in here, the better off we'll be. It'd be also funny if their trebuchet turn and actually fire at us. Right now they're facing front, so they can't actually hit us. 
All right, getting into position. Let's get Lubu over here. Are they moving? Oh my god. Oh my god. And they're gonna start a fire. Run, 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 run. They haven't knocked out any of our Chibuche yet, and they didn't light up that fire, so that's good. But it's a matter of time. I should have double checked whether they would turn. I could have sent a cavalry unit up first. Well, let's do that. I don't mind it shooting at us. I just mind it shooting at our Chibuche. Uh, we didn't suffer too many losses. We lost a couple men here, but we didn't lose any of the machines, which is the key here. Here, we're gonna let you guys shoot at me. Please do. Okay, preferably not those. Oh my god. Make sure we don't run into our own spikes either. Alright, I'm gonna lure them to fire at us over here. There we go. So they don't accidentally light our thing on fire. How many more shots do you have? Yeah, they're falling short. The tree's catching them before they get us, so that's good. I think we can just sit here. I don't think they can actually hit us. Confident. Alright. We're gonna slowly move back into range. Alright, 18. I think they're going to keep missing. They have four more shots. Right, maybe you guys can wait a little bit. Please finish firing. Fire, please. They stopped firing at us. Where are you guys moving to? Alright, I'm going to just charge them in, take some more damage, just want to get the rest of the shots out. Fire, please. Alright. Poor, poor unit here. It's getting sacrificed. Alright, one more shot. Almost done, guys. Almost done. There we go. Alright, get back. You did great. Now we have range superiority the rest of the way here. Alright, they pulled most of their defenses back. Or rather, we can't see them anymore. Uh, they can come back here. And we can actually, our turn to start pounding them. 21 shots each. Uh, Guo Jia is doing great with just one burn buff here and also excellent cunning uh, gives us a lot of ammo here. Alright, we're gonna start out by firing at this group right here and if we scratch the tower it'd be great too. Right, the tower's gone. Now once the towers are gone, we can move even closer. Right here. Uh, not much to hit. Well, both towers are out, so we're going to move into this corridor here. closer we are, the more accurate we're going to be. We're also going to see if we can get a duel out. They're shooting at us. What kind of range is that? 250 is this far? Okay, I vastly underestimated their range. Maybe it's because of the higher elevation as well. Okay, that's, that's really not good.
They're still shooting at us? Alright, we're gonna return fire now. Let's see how you do against rocks. There we go. Oh, charging out. Uh, rotating units. Alright, we're going to hit this part because there's a huge cluster there. Going to move these guys up. I'm going to make sure no unit can get closer. We're going to just keep pounding that area right here. And then we're going to use our crossbow to finish off everyone in here. Fire. Why are you guys moving back? What is going on with our units today? Alright. This spot's pretty much cleaned out. They all routed. Let's see them go to town. Fire? So many things in your range. Why are they... Not? Okay, there we go. They're firing. Why are they not firing? Alright, see, I think it's the vision issue. They don't see above the curve. Might have to move them up a little bit more here. Are they all going to fire now? Says they're still moving. You know what? Listen. Alright, just hit that. Oh. Charge out. Dare you. Okay, they had enough. Won't get wrecked. We will go finish him. Let's see if he can charge before the crossbow man finish him off. Right, can't even finish his charge. Go finish them. Charge in. Go kill him. Alright, 
Oh, we're getting flanked. It's okay. I don't think they can charge up. One unit trying to flank us is useless. Alright, back to the task at hand. Keep that area pounded. Come back. Alright, loop will kill another one. Get the gap closed. Fire back. Fire back. I'm going to watch them disappear. Half gone. And gone. Uh, no, no, don't charge, don't charge. Just, just fire will, it's fine. See, I don't know why they're not. Yeah, they're firing now, okay. How about you guys? Yeah, they're not firing. It's firing at will, but. They can't find a target. Yeah, they just can't find a target. How about those guys? We lost our horse. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna run into this mess here and then use our ability to smash the ground. Get over there, people. Okay, or get surrounded. We'll kill the cavalry. There we go. Alright, push. Alright, time to mop up. Alright, go help me, Alright, our cavalry is here. Let's flank them all. Clear away, Lubu. There we go. Charge. Want to charge into the sword units. We'll snipe out the spear units. Oh, 
Ah, uh, we don't need to chase that far. Alright, charge. Kill the Z militias. Drop their armor. Any other Z militia? Alright, let's kill these guys. Li Bu will lead these two. Guard here. Alright, all these guys are vulnerable to us. Charge. He'll stay with the range units. Kill those. Charge. Why are we stuck here? Oh, there's some units left. Come on, it's just four saber cav. Alright, anyways. Get moving, guys. Oh, that was quick. They just routed. Alright. Still want to chase them a little bit. Charge. Yeah, it's just a slow crawl. Alright, we'll just claim victory here. Alright, I don't know how that was a heroic victory. I felt like that was quite messy. That wasn't one of our clean fights. And we wasted Intimidation again. No surprise there. Um, release him for money. Occupy. Right, Intimidation wasting. What else is new? Alright, so we can summon our burn officers here now. Uh, is he one of them? No. I know Sima Yi and her, I think. Yep. So we're ready to go. I think one turn replenishment is good. Maybe two is necessary, but there's no one defending this right now. Yeah, we're going to be wrapping things up fairly quickly unless they summon the army to defend themselves. Uh, let's see. We're waiting for Huang Gai to move here. Alright, extra shock cavalry damage. We probably have a better weapon for you. Yep. Northern army just sitting there. They can f wrap this up now, right? We can delegate this. We should have chased down more during that last fight, so we can avoid this fight altogether, but... Wasted more intimidation, right. Or we can just waste all the way through. We're so close to the end, I'm just gonna skip out on the diplomacy stuff. Uh, go get this one... Nope. No items for you there. This army is headed back to find Lady Wu. Uh, so we're just gonna sit here and see what they do. Uh, rebel farmers. That one's replenishing, that one's replenishing. Yeah, not much we can do here. I think we're just two turns away from the win, so I think we're gonna go pretty fast here. Uh, I don't know who needs one. Someone with high industry? Taiyuan would need one. 30% industry to 950 should be a huge amount here. Yeah, I want to change this to this version. But first, let's rush this. Change this. Um, build... Uh, what's our fifth building here? That's a good question. What is a good fifth building here?
We can probably do labor. Yeah. Tax uh, corruption reducing. More farm. Same thing. Yeah, we got to upgrade this so we actually get some industry value out of that. The only thing we should have coheres is coheres going to give us that copper mine, but we don't have the necessary reform to take advantage of that copper mine anyway, so not a big loss there. All right, the end is near. Um, does he want to surrender to us this turn? There's a chance if he... Oh, uh, we don't want a piece. That's not what I want to offer him. I want him to give up his... Th yep, 12.2. He's almost there. He sees the end too. So we're just going to end turn and see what happens uh, next turn. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. Uh, Yuan Shao signed a peace treaty with our coalition member. Sure thing. And then declare war right back. Interesting. Interesting how that worked. Um, this is turn 117. Uh, this might be the last turn. This is probably one of our fastest campaign that's not Yellow Turban. Our Yellow Turban campaign was really fast. That one snowballed out of hand real fast. Uh, this one... Is play one of the faster ones for a regular campaign. Usually I play till about 160 ish turn. Uh, we went pretty fast at the end. Oh, there's Samai's wife. 24. Zhang Chunhua, so young. One eyed. You know what? We are feeling kind today. Samai, we found you a wife. Assuming she haven't married anyone else yet. Can't promise that. Oh, they've been waiting for each other. There we go. Historical accuracy. Now they're going to have a bunch of sons who's going to have a bunch of sons. And then we're going to have eight princes. And China's going to be ruined all because of that. Um... Fury or Vengeance? Probably Vengeance? No, own territory, enemy territory. Enemy territory. This one's more useful. Uh, we're going to ignore the rebellions coming. I think it's... it's This is it. People can't... I uh, can't reach them. Okay, not over yet. We can't finish them if we can't reach them. Uh, how about we grab your wife here? Oh my god, your wife has a decent retinue here. No joke. And of course, Zhang Zhenghua and uh, they don't get along. Alright, we don't need this retinue. It's not, it's not that helpful. Especially since we can't replenish it, so. Uh, we're also not going to reach... But at least we'll be here for the show. Definitely want Surin to be here when it's all over. We can delegate this, right? No, we can't. Um, break siege then. I don't want to waste waste time fighting this. Here. I'm gonna make sure they know it's over. White Stalin. All right, we're just not going to bother with that. Where did Huang Gai's army go? Not in the river, so they're not coming over. That's fine. We'll just sit here in case anything happens. Uh, we're relatively safe everywhere. Lady Wu's army's in full retreat. We'll try to catch them. We can't reach them, so this is the best we can do. But they're getting captured from this direction too. Alright, so the south is all good. Uh, this new army we summoned over here. It's almost done replenishing so we can move out. 
it was Sun Ce's army, but I think they ran back this way. Uh, rebels are gonna spawn next turn. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, gonna be quick here. Yep, rebels next turn. Good for them. Workshop, Nanyang. Uh, private workshop. 20 food. We probably can't go any tall builds. Wait, why is this plus 5 all of a sudden? How come? Ah, the is it the event? Yeah, local character. That's the plus 10 event. Okay, no rebellion here. It's a little unfortunate. Love it when the random event messes you up. Okay, all these are done. Let's continue. So our final turn is not going to be 117. It's going to be 118. At least Sima, he got his wife. All right, guys. Uh, winter season of year 213. The Three Kingdoms chapter comes to an end as we are about to finish off uh, Kingdom of Wu here. Liu Bei is very kind. He is actually guarding our capital for us with Sima Long, uh, who is Sima Yi's younger brother. Um, nice of them. Yuan Yao also have sent his army over here to guard it. Also his relative here. Probably Yuan Shu's son, judging by his age. Um, things are pretty calm. Uh, Kong Rong is still trying to do stuff by landing his army on two different sides. I don't know if he's trying to distract us. Uh, still trying to come up with strategies to beat us, I guess, at this point. Uh, we're just going to chase after him. He's going to run. And uh, we're just going to basically tell him we're here. There's a rebel here. We don't really have to mind that. We actually have to move south because Koron's other army is coming this way. Uh, all of this actually doesn't matter because uh, the big show is at the capital down south that Wu is not even defending, uh, which is really, really disappointing here. We're going to have a very anti climatic end like with most campaigns. It's just the city. It, all it has is a basic garrison. Even the vassal's army, which was guarding here, ran away as they looked at this. So we're going to let her do the honor here and uh, lay siege. And uh, we're going to pull all our armies closer for an easier delegate fight here. They won't surrender. It's their capital. But... It's pretty much over. Do they even have ammo in this city? One ammo each. Right. And uh, we have... Four tribuches. 18, 24, 30 cavalry units. Yeah. That's it. The coalition of uh, Lü Bu, Sun Ren, Sima Yi is bringing an end to the Kingdom of Wu here at a click of a button. There we go. Occupy. Alright, no longer Emperor. Capture their seat. We got a treasure. They haven't surrendered yet. That's interesting. Usually they abdicate at this point. Um, they move their capital back to Changsha. Wait, 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 wait. They're no wait. They're no longer emperor. So, did we not reach our victory condition? Is that why it's not over, or is it just bugged? All right, we're emperor for all three. Victory condition, bring all emperor seat under your control by only 95 counties. Our vassals also count for this, so we should have over 95 counties. We hold 70. And I'm pretty sure Liu Bei and them hold more than 25. Right? Alright, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. We're one short. Are we one short, really? No, there's one more here, right? Oh, hold on, on, recount, recount. One, two, three, four, five. Now this is one. Hold on, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They don't count. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25 so you were either one short or we perfectly there um, just in case we're one short what we're gonna do is ask someone for a piece of land here here give us this please also pay us. Do we win? We don't win? Is this a bug? Is this because the patch? I'm so sure we should win now. Okay, we can take another turn. I mean, it doesn't hurt right now. Um, hold on, let's go back to diplomacy. I don't know if I want to peace out with him. I want to fight him. He's the easiest person for us to grab land from. Alright, what about Liu Dai? I don't know why you're still on the map. Okay, we'll just we'll just play the turn out then. We'll see what happens next turn. Super confused. Okay. We're gonna go south to take care of Konro. We're gonna farm rebels like nothing's happening over here. Do they have items? We can see items. Alright, no items. We'll just delegate. Just go back to the city. Alright, they have them on lockdown. Li Bu's army still have movement, so we're gonna head to another county here. We'll have Sima Yi follow them. This cavalry army can go grab some empty land for us, I guess. Let's see who else. They can't get a rebel going there. Down south. We'll take more land. We'll just delegate these. I'm pretty sure vassal lands count for the win. So we don't need to annex. That doesn't make a difference here. Maybe it's just glitched. That pulley explain it. Can't reach it? Okay, fine. They can't replenish, they're in March. Alright. Tangwu. Best peasantry commander in the game. Let's grab parts of it. Crushing defeat? Are they kidding me? Uh, I'll fight this and uh, cut to the end. Alrighty. 
That's the crushing defeat odds right there. I just laid out the siege weapons and they can't get close. Occupy. Alright, back to 100. Um, intimidation, but I don't think we have any more armies that can move to find a fight. So we're not going to use that intimidation right now. Uh, we do have more money now. Let's see. Anything we want to build. Let's continue to build the private workshop. Rank this up. parlor let's see how did he build it he built a temple here three okay I don't mind these three buildings but temple is really not needed we can build this up while we wait for that to get fixed let's hurry this up I want to build the spice all the way to level five we can just rush this Alrighty. Our spice income is 250 at max, and the multiplier is what we want to look for. So we're getting 1.1k from the spice. Okay, that's everything. Uh, let's end turn, see if we get that victory screen. If not, uh, something's definitely bugged, and then we'll just have to figure it out what we're going to do from that point. So let's go next turn. Uh, slight oversight on our part. We traded for the Hedong Copper Mine without realizing Kornos army is right next to it. So we're gonna just lose this right here. It's alright. Alright, we're definitely not getting any victory screens. Um, I'm pretty sure it's because of the pre-patch bug because a lot of things are bugged with this campaign including our court, including Deltran's model. Um, so I'm guessing we definitely reached the victory condition. We're not going to be able to see any stat screens. We're going to just end our campaign here a bit anti climatic uh, We can move on to the Mandate Heaven content here uh, moving forward. Um, in Chinese, we call this Liu Yi uh, Basically, leave some regret. Uh, because I actually am really hopeful one day in the future we'll get to play a young Dong Zhuo campaign. Uh, starting in the 182 start because we'll be able to use Dongzhuo a lot more. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing as him. Uh, we start out in the west, which is something I never done before. Um, eventually, we reached our dream of Silk and Spice Empire here. Um, some of our Silk income is uh, off the charts, I believe. Uh, 1.2k each, so about 3.6k 3, 3 total. Yeah, close to that. Uh, just from these three counties and then we're getting another uh, about 3.6k from the spice down south uh, that's without us trying to intensively buff it a lot of uh, commanders are not tall builds it uh, we need basically a lot of turns of management a lot more reform uh, we've been going down pretty aggressive into the red tree for this campaign for good reasons because horses were really really cheap uh, they do have great delegate values uh, against non-spear units, but as we've seen, a lot, a lot of the siege battles where the enemy have just simple G militias, we still had to fight those out on the field. But it was still nice to get some premium cavalry in this campaign. Uh, we still used a lot of range units like we typically do. Uh, the new offering of these crosswomen is interesting. Um, they provide a competition to onyx dragons just because of their... Uh, extremely high armor increasing damage. Uh, they could be a lot better and they get extra bonuses for having multiple units of Imperial units uh, close to each other. So we pretty much didn't go our standard development route. Usually we get these reforms, which was not the case this time. Uh, maybe for a longer campaign, it would have been uh, better suited to get these. Uh, but we rushed our way through. And we did it through diplomacy and military might. And uh, we got Lu Bu as the emperor. Too bad he's not going to get his little summary screen. Um, but we had a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to come back uh, tomorrow and we're going to start Liu Chong's campaign uh, for Mandate of Heaven. A lot of you guys want to see us play them. Uh, I love range units. I love his uh, crossbow units. We're going to play a different style. 
uh, starting in the central plain since our Liu Bei campaign is starting in the corner there. So uh, that's pretty fun. And before we leave, I think we want to take a brief look at statistics. We can try to get a little bit of what would have happened at the end screen here. Uh, notable characters, Liu Bu, uh, prolific achiever, battles assignment duels, 62. Uh, 62 battles assignments and duels. So he definitely been in a lot of fights. 13 successful duels, uh, 6.9k kills on him. Guo Jia is our loyal servant, longest serving, 23 years uh, total time. Uh, enjoy having Guo Jia in every campaign. I don't mind him. Uh, one of the highest cunning characters in the game. Uh, total active characters, 204, recruited 34. Nai died in service. A couple of them died in battle, Lu Fan, early on. Uh, that's another reason why our Silk and Spice Empire is not even stronger because we don't have him or else we would have earned at least another, it would be what, 250 each for 6 commandery, 1,500 gold out of Silk and Spice. Uh, we have 135 people who we kicked out of factions, these include people who we stripped off their items and just kicked out, and others we kicked out early to save cost. Uh, we got 41 duels, uh, 37 lost, uh, 1, uh, we lost 4. Uh, some of those are delegate duel duels that we lost, so we can't control most of them. I think for most of the duels we actively uh, fought, we won. 168 Anzuri items. We could have gotten more if we farmed more efficiently for Yellow Turban characters. Uh, what you want to do if you see an item you want is you want to fight and then leave the character alive on the field so you can get the item. Uh, we have 72 right now. Um, most county held 73, including Hedong Copper Mine, which we lost at the end of the turn. Uh, population 23 million, not not too shabby. Uh, current force, yeah, these are not too difficult. 99 deals in diplomacy, uh, deals made by others, 1.2k people that offered us deals. We rejected 26 of those, and they rejected. 1k okay interesting we didn't break any deals we are man of our word and we are part of two alliance and coalitions four vassals current war total number war three arranged marriages yeah we didn't we weren't too active our total campaign was much more active we had a huge family tree in that one uh total income not too proud of my economy for this one. Uh, didn't focus too heavily there. Yeah, not active in our spy. We could have Liu Bei executed anytime we want. That I'm proud of. Number of soldiers lost. Battles fought. 192. Heroic victories only 4. Yeah, we just had one. We just had a really weird siege battle that ended that way. Yep, and we raised two settlements. We raised one in the beginning, uh, and then we realized it was untrustworthy, so we stopped. And then we raised uh, Xiangyang uh, to get the achievement. So that's about it. And that's our campaign. Smug face all around. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Let's Play series. Uh, it's officially over, and we're ready for new things. So see you all next time. Bye!